Morning Thailand supported by Si Thai Superware. Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. Welcome back. You're still tuning into a morning Thailand show here with us, Phi Gov and Kun Chen. Sadi ka. Sadi ka. Sadi ka. And of course, Kun Chen, mm -hmm. what we're going to witness uh, recently is the demonstration with Kun Suthep to support the core leader, saying that they are fighting to overthrow overthrow the mm -hmm. Thaksin regime. Whether mm -hmm. uh, the prime minister had dissolved the parliament or she had resigned, mm -hmm. they were not stopped until right. the Thaksin regime is over. So what exactly is the regime that we're yeah. talking about? And is that the, the root cause of mm -hmm. all these incidences? I think we, we have been talking about the Thaksin regime many times, but mm -hmm. we have not gone over the details yet. Of yeah. course not. Uh, and mm -hmm. it is one of the highly mentioned vocabulary nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the people army against the Thaksin regime, and it, uh, even as well this uh, term being used on the stages of Khun and uh, mm -hmm. anti-government uh, nationwide mm -hmm. movement. Many questions raised, and one of those is that, what exactly is the Thaksin regime? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think one other thing that is very inter interesting is that Khun has never clarified this term. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. No one really does. So uh, yeah. I think it's very important to for, for us to uh, really mm -hmm. understand the term because right. it, it would be very difficult for the protesters who are not very certain what they are fighting for mm -hmm. and are fighting against. Otherwise, it would be like to cash a course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, however, many academics uh, see this political crisis as the reflection of the Thai people uh, of fear of Khun Thaksin's ghost. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. so do we know what is the regime? Yeah, uh, according to Ajahn Gassian Te Shapira, a political scientist at uh, Thammasat University, who invented this term in oh. 2003. So we have been using this term for 10 years oh, already. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, he defines it as a movement to detach the society from the old power structure of constitutional monarchy oh. after the October 14 massacre in uh, 1973. 40 years already. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's before Khun Thaksin. Before. Uh, he said what happens today is the descendant of the 1973 ideology. Uh, it is a democracy that was designed to control the grassroots people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the election process because the election was expected uh, not to be so dangerous to the uh, for the ruling class power and interest. Mm -hmm. So ba basically, uh, right now we are still in the democracy system after the military control. Mm -hmm. But in this system, some critical problem might uh, affect the interest of the elite class would not be touched, such as the land reform. Mm -hmm. So uh, the taxing regime is the first attempt to get out of this system uh, for Ajahn Kassian. It is that let the, uh, this one, uh, Thaksin regime, is a let alone leader. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's basically talking about uh, the person, not mm -hmm. the system. Oh. But uh, it's quite difficult to say if the Thaksin regime is still existing now today for Adan Kassian. Mm -hmm. But there are six components assuring the system that uh, the first one is the organized movement as political party the Thai Rak Thai Party at mm -hmm. first, People Power uh, Party, and now the Pur Thai Party, which is uh, actually quite a network of Khun Thaksin as well as his supporters, who may not be uh, party members, uh, rather work in other organizations such as the state and state enterprise uh, organizations. Uh, second opponent is the public policies that are still in place even after the exile of Khun Thaksin. Mm -hmm. And one ironic thing is that uh, even mi military government Mm. of Kun Su Rayut Jula Non even apply those policies as well. Uh, the third component is the globalized liberalist policy that encourages the government to work with foreign counterparts. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth component is the now people still doubt uh, with the business sector who affiliate with Kun Taksin if they are still active. The fifth component is that the movement is now being isolated from the elite as they see the regime as a dangerous affair with received doubt. The last component is that Khun Thaksin is now using the leftist vocabulary when talking about democracy. Mm 
which is quite strange for Ajahn Kassian that uh, for a rich man like Kun Thaksin to apply mm -hmm. Marxist stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now Kun Thaksin would sound like a uh, student movement leader mm -hmm. back okay. in 1973. Okay. So uh, I think one interesting comment from Ajahn Kassian is that uh, he said right now what we learn from uh, this story is that the, the story of the two cities of Ajahn Anek Lao Thamathat mm -hmm. who uh, points that uh, the Thai political is uh, have have been the struggle between the urban and the rural. Yeah. Okay. But uh, right now it's not very uh, straightforward mm -hmm. like that because mm -hmm. the party have to launch policy that attract both the rural and the urban as well. Mm. Because in the past the rural was seen as the the vote the voter, right, and the one who. Uh, elect and set up the government, but the, uh, the urban people will overthrow the government. Uh -huh. But right now it's quite changing. Mm -hmm. So uh, the good side of the Thaksin regime is that now the people are more po politically active. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the bad side is that the country is more and deeply divided mm -hmm. as people cannot find common ground to sit yeah. and talk anymore. That's true because mm -hmm. you know, Kun Satep did say that he's not going to talk and he's not going to turn mm -hmm. himself in, at least not this time. Mm -hmm. And another bad thing is that nepotism is even stronger mm -hmm. yeah. after Kun Thaksin uh, being in place according to Ajahn Kassian. Mm -hmm. Because uh, right now it's not, it's not about right and wrong. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about who you agree with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he does not uh, only point out about the problem, but he also uh, give us the way out of this problem okay. as well. So he uh, basically suggests that uh, to get out of this problem, okay. we mm -hmm. need to make the class struggle into political parties. Oh okay. no. Because we cannot flee the class struggle. So uh, the, How? the main How? point is that to organize them as a political parties but and that would lead uh, to enter the uh, formal election system. Wouldn't that lead to a wider gap? Uh, I, I actually agree with Ajahn Gassian because uh, right uh -huh. now we do not have any unique party that have uh, unique policies, right? Uh, like the uh, Democrat mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. Republican or Conservative yeah, and the Labour parties. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Like, I think that is is, this is one of the thing though. I think mm -hmm. even though, this is don't forget. Mm -hmm. Even though we we you know report about this, this is one person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. This is this is idea, and then it was something that you know he talked about, and that's why we we use this to mm -hmm. to explain to you. But mm -hmm. I think I still find some flaws because don't forget, mm -hmm. there's no black and white, right. and I don't think that Kun Thaksin started off as mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. because don't forget, like the first year when he was elect, like the first um, four years, term. Mm -hmm. the first term, it was quite. Good, like you know, mm -hmm. he got us out of IMF, and mm -hmm. I, I think that's one of the, the things that a lot of people actually saluted him mm -hmm. for. But later on, when it's changed, that when you know, mm -hmm. it's, I think the complexity of this particular case is a lot more than you know, a clear cut and yes. such. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether or right. not that proposal mm -hmm. would how you can implement it. I think <laughs> one, one dangerous. Uh, thing that circulate in, in our society right now is that people do not have much faith in the democratic system. Mm -hmm. So now they uh, pretty much put Try to find all, something else. all the eggs in the military coup. Which is not mm -hmm. good. No one has come out and said that yet, hopefully. Not yet. I don't think I hear like, please have a coup. Actually, the, the Union for uh, State Enterprises. Yeah. Really? Just one group, right? Uh -huh. is, is not like... I think they no were point. asking for the military to help, help in case violence happens. Yeah, but not like, hey, let's to have that a stage. Group. Yeah, that's going to be very... All right, that's another story <laughs> to talk about, that's for sure. Okay, well, with that, we're going to have to end the show because we run out of time. But if you have any more questions and such, you can always email us at morningthailandshow at gmail.com or for any advertisement as well. That would be great. And you can always watch us on the YouTube mm -hmm. as well as on Facebook, facebook.com slash morningthailand. Thank you, C Thai Superware Quality, the World Trust, Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. And of course, we have to end the program today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and have a good day and bye. Golf. Chen. Sadika.